Hi guys, welcome you all to another video of software testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I am going to talk about how Java internally works. So let's get started. So whenever you write any program, you write the program in the notepad or edit plus and you save it with an extension of .java. You should save the file with an extension of .java and you write it in the notepad. It will be human readable format any human can understand it after writing but how machine will understand this to make your machine understand it should go through two stages that is called as compilation and interpretation so this is your compilation and this is your interpretation and the Whatever the program that you have written with an extension of .java, it is also called as source file. Now, coming to the compilation, the input will be your .java and output will be your .class. Now in compilation, what and all things happen? So in compilation, it will check for syntax it will check for rules and it will translates translates your .java file to your .class file any violation in the syntax and rule during the compilation stage will lead to the compile time error once after your compilation stage is done your interpretation stage will happen. The input for your interpretation stage is your dot class file and output for your interpretation stage is your binary number. In interpretation, there are few things that takes place. So in interpretation, it will execute. It will execute the program it will read line by line and it will translate your dot class file into binary number so these three things takes place in your interpretation stage any violation in the execution will lead to the runtime error any violation in the execution will form the runtime error Inside your interpretation, there are J, D, K, there are J, R, E, there are J, V, M, there are J, I, T. So talking about J, D, K or your Java development kit, it will be having all the library files which is used to develop any new software. Now talking about J, R, E, that is Java runtime environment now java runtime environment is a it provides the environment to run any program now java is a platform independent whichever platform whichever machine whichever wherever you want to run the java program java runtime environment should be installed and finally your dot class file will execute there so that's why we say Java is a platform independent. To run the Java program in any platform or any devices, your Java runtime environment should be installed in that device. And finally, your dot class file will execute there. For that sake, we say Java is a platform independent. Now talking about JVM that is Java virtual machine, it does not exist physically but because of jvm your programs exec program execution takes place talking about jit just in time your jit will be responsible to convert your dot class file into your binary number and finally this binary number will be given to the operating system operating system will run the program and finally gives you to the output so this is the 
internal structure of how java internally works so always remember whatever the file you write that is human readable format or source file will be human readable format and you should save it with an extension of java this is human readable format to make machine understand it whatever the code you have written it should go through two stages that is compilation and interpretation in compilation it will convert your dot java file to dot class file it check for all the syntax it will check all the rules any violation in the syntax and rules will lead to the compile time error in interpretation your input will be your dot class file and output will be your binary number in interpretation stage it execute the program it read line by line and it translates your dot class file to the binary number any violation in the execution will lead to the runtime error in interpretation you have jdk jre jvm and jit once after binary number is there once after interpretation has given the output as binary number finally those binary number will be given as a input to the operating system finally it will execute your program and gives you the output so this is what internal structure of java i hope this video was useful to you guys if you yes, please subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt give a thumbs up to this video and please share this video with your nitty friend